Welcome. In this video, Robert K3RRR shows us his quickie antenna for even faster emergency deployment. Well, hello, Robert. How are you? I am fantastic. So we're with Robert K3RRR. And R. what? R. There you go. R. And because we are today, this is April 2nd, uh, 2016, and we are out shaking out some equipment and getting ready for field day, yeah. getting a, jump, a head start on it. And Robert brought something very interesting. It's gotten a lot of interest, people asking all about it. So I asked Robert just to give us a quick overview. So what did you bring today? <laughs> I brought a quickie antenna in the idea and spirit of quick emergency communication. And we're trying that out. I've never used this antenna before, so I'm hoping it works. And basically it's a 33 foot MSJ telescoping mast. Well, let's take a walk out there and take a look. Okay, so it looks like a big fishing pole. Right. And it's made out of fiberglass, so it's non-metallic. So how is it stuck in the ground? Uh, it is stuck in the ground with a $2.94 fence post from Home Depot. How long did it take you to put that in? Uh, six seconds. There you go. So in the spirit of emergency communications, can't get much faster than that. That's right. And uh, the ground is hard here, so I couldn't get it all the way in. Mm -hmm. It's sufficient to hold the pole up. Well, terrific. And you have it Velcroed. Right. So again, something fast mm -hmm. is what I was after. So how how uh, long is that fishing pole of yours? Uh, 33 feet. 33 feet. And what is it called? What's the technical term? When you went to buy this, what did you call it? What it says right here. Yeah. It's a telescoping fiberglass mast. Let me see if I can get that up close in case. All right. So it's uh, MFJ. 1910. Mm-hmm. 33 feet there. I don't know if anybody. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. So that holds. What is that wire at the end there? That is a 53 foot long wire. Uh huh. So that's the end of the long wire at the top. Right. And then it runs 53 feet magically. Uh huh. Over to a 9 to 1 unit. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Which is a little black box that you see. Right. We're going to have to make way here. The people are hauling one of our bigger antennas. So the 53 foot uh, long wire, mm -hmm. and there's a reason for it being 53 feet. A long wire is not random. Mm -hmm. A long wire is better if it's cut to specific non ham band resident uh, links. And why is that? Uh, because, again, this is close to being uh, tuner-free right now on 20 through 10 uh, on all bands, including the work bands. But for whatever reason, I can't get this to load on 40, which it should also cover. Mm -hmm. But I can't. I'm trying to do it with my internal tuner on my radio, and the internal tuner won't tune it. A regular tuner would. So... Uh, but the internal tuner is easily handling the other uh, frequencies. So 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 all work great. Again, the wire comes here. Just like the the problem. And it comes to this, which is a 9 to 1 union. Mm -hmm. This one's from Dallin Designs. Mm -hmm. And what's its purpose? And this takes and reduces the impedance of the long wire down to close to 50 to uh, 50 ohms that we have that we feed into the radio. Oh wow! Okay. And this is about 60, 70 bucks. The telescoping mast is about 80 bucks, as I recall, and the fence post is three bucks. So you can put it up quickly you and cheaply, mm -hmm. and uh, the cost of the wire, and you got an antenna. Fantastic! And you, how do you have it hooked up to your radio then? The 50-foot coax, and the 50-foot coax acts, acts as a counterpoise mm -hmm. to the antenna. So this long run of coax is necessary. So we're going to hit the radio, and we've already made our first contact. Fantastic. And the first contact was a special contact. That's right. 
So it was our yes, yes. So it was our special event call sign for our 50th anniversary for Montgomery Amateur Radio Club, and we contacted Croatia. So not bad for the first contact. And not bad for your very emergency Cookie and antenna. cookie antenna. Okay, thank you so much, Robert, for taking time to talk to us. <laughs>